Welcome back viewers, this is Sweet Battle Scars, and today I am very happy to show you the brand new Legend of Zelda Hyrule Historia, actually released today in the West. So, as you, most of you might know, this book was released in Japan last year uh, to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the series, and we finally have it in the West, in the US, as you can see here. Um, I was not able to uh, get the limited edition, the collector's edition. Uh, obviously, I uh, pre-ordered mine a little too late, and so I my order got canceled a few weeks ago. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to uh, get the collector's edition, but this here is, is plenty. This book is beautiful, and so I'm definitely very happy to have it. As some of you might know, I recently started my video game art book collection and uh it's growing slowly but it's growing and so i'm happy to add this to my collection and today i will be showing you what's inside the book so i'm trying out a, a different angle today so i can actually include the entire book as i go through the pages uh, in my previous videos i've just kind of shown you one page and i moved the book from side to side but so my camera's a little higher you may not be able to see a lot of the little details, but I think uh, it might be better to see the whole picture. So here we have an awesome picture of the Hylian Shield and Master Sword rendered in the style of Skyward Sword. So a uh, really nice picture there. Here we have a little introduction by none other than Shigeru Miyamoto himself, the creator of the series. And uh, he goes into uh, a very brief history of how the series came to be, how he was working on it, um, you know, 25 years ago or more than that, uh, back in the mid-80s. Mid and so uh, it's a very nice detail by, uh, by the creator here to give us some insight on how the series uh, came to be and what he was thinking and, you know, just li nice little details like that. So we're going to move on here. And uh, here we agree, uh, here we have a little section, let me go back. Uh, called Legend Begins, and it goes into some of the uh, development stages of Skyward Sword. Here we have an awesome picture of the characters right away in that awesome watercolor um, rendering. And so, here you'll find some uh, different pictures, renderings of the game in different stages. Uh, some of the initial ideas that the creators had, for example, for the bird up there. And then some... I'm gonna pull the book up. Some very initial, I, I think you can tell, some very early art for Link in Skyward Sword. And uh, this was the picture released by Nintendo years ago to kind of a hint at this brand new Zelda game when we still didn't know about it. And so there we have the final version of Link. But so the pictures are really nice, but what's even better is that the text, the text is very valuable as it goes into uh, detail. Uh, so you can get an insight of uh, you know what the creators were thinking, and I always I always really like reading those uh, kind of things. I really like uh, kind of sort of getting into the the minds of uh, those behind this this um, awesome series. So here here we have some different stages for uh, Zelda herself. The glare might be might prevent us from seeing it clearly, but there you have at the top some uh, drawings of her. And uh, different colors, one for blue and one for red. I guess they were considering kind of uh, giving her a blue outfit. So it goes on and on like that with some awesome pictures and uh, lots of text for uh, this game and its characters. Here we have uh, some uh, pictures and uh, text for the imprisoned. And Impa here looking really epic. Uh, so here we get we get into some of the details of uh, for the sort of the map, the overworld, and uh, this these awesome uh, pictures of a uh, link here. Nice watercolors of a uh, link kind of flying, th you know, diving into the ground and with his bird up here. So obviously scenes that we all saw in the game, but it's really nice to see them rendered in uh, watercolors. Some of the very initial concept art for the game so really nice to see these things so i'm gonna kind of flip through here so i can show you the whole book and keep this video short so really nice details into some of the characters and the areas as well 
He goes on to show you a lot of the, the uh, design choices and why they chose those for the characters and areas. So that's always really nice to know. So I'm gonna pull ahead here. See uh, the um, Elden Volcano there. Eldin. Here we have this boss. So, you know, it goes into uh, really good detail for uh, Skyward Sword. A lot of detail. So, then we arrive at this uh, section called the History of Hyrule. A uh, chronology. So, I love this picture here of uh, all the different versions of Link. We have a Skyward Sword Link there in the middle. We have the Ocarina of Time Link, the Wind Waker Link, the Twilight Princess Link there. Uh, you know, some of the earlier Links here in the back too. Fierce, uh, the 80 Link. And, uh, you know, Link, in, uh, as we saw him in Majora's Mask and Oswolf Link too. So really awesome, awesome picture. So here he goes into some of the, uh, you know, the, the history of the series itself. And this is where we get to that juicy... Uh, you know, timeline that everyone went uh, just crazy about when it was uh, released in the book in Japan. Uh, so here we have the official uh, Legend of Zelda timeline released by Nintendo. So, you know, no more <laughs> doubts about it, guys. This is our timeline. And so, you know, what was shocking at first is uh, when Nintendo introduced the idea of uh, Link being defeated and how that split gave us a whole different third branch in the timeline. At first we knew that Ocarina of Time split the timeline into the adult era and the child era, but then <laughs> Nintendo threw this whole other branch at us and uh, consider considering and actually telling us that, uh, you know, Link was actually defeated in a timeline and we have this set of uh, games here, Link to the Past, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, Link's Awakening, the Legend of Zelda and uh, the Adventure of Link all happened in this timeline. So, uh, very, very, very cool. Uh, so it goes on to be, give you some background on, for example, the Legend of the Goddesses and the Hero. Uh, you know, just different things that are mentioned in the games at different points in time. Uh, you know, because every single game gives you a, you know, different, uh, different insight into a lot of these things. Uh, you know, not all the games as the games don't answer all the questions. Each game never answers all the questions, and uh, I think uh, quite the opposite. They tend to make a lot more, many more questions. Uh, every time I finish a game, <laughs> I always have more questions. So that's what I think uh, one of the things I like about this uh, series. I really like that a lot. That it poses more questions than answers. So. So, you know, here we'll just find some of the different games and going into detail. Ocarina of Time, for example, here. Um, more Ocarina of Time. You know, how epic that game felt when we played it back in uh, 98. Very cool. So, it'll go on and on. And, uh, you know, once I've said this in my uh, previous vid videos before. These videos really don't do uh, these books uh, justice. You're, you really have to spend time with these to read everything and uh, all the juicy details in them. Twilight Princess here. So I'm going to move on here and you get the idea of what this section is trying to do. Then we come to uh, Creative Footprints. Documenting 25 years of artwork. So here we have all these awesome uh, pieces of art for pretty much every single Zelda game ever created. Ocarina of Time there. So it goes into really awesome details uh, about the characters, for the characters, different uh, drawings and uh, you know obviously fi finalized pieces of work. So here we have a uh, Wind Waker Link, some of the drawings that went into that game. Um, here we have uh, the Oracles Seasons and Ages, really cool, just fascinating. The Twilight Princess, uh, I think I gotta say of all the 
Zelda games, and this is very personal. Twilight Princess has the best art, in my opinion. It was just really Zelda to me. Uh, of course, there are a lot of people that disagree, and they, you know, I think maybe the Ocarina of Time art. And I do love all the art in the games. Wind Waker, I, I loved the uh, you know to see uh, Toon Link in that game, but Twilight Princess just that uh, this art style really spoke to me. So I gotta say, this is probably my favorite section of the book. The uh, Twilight Princess, in terms of the art, obviously I I just like the entire book. So some of the awesome uh, drawings of the Gorons in as they appeared in Twilight Princess. And so we move on. Really cool weapons, areas, Phantom Hourglass, some of the art for that game. Spirit Tracks. And it goes on and on to show you. Many more uh, little drawings, so really cool to have. Ooh, epic Ganon there. So it shows you uh, how Ganon has sort of uh, evolved and changed from 1998, I guess. 2001, 2002, pretty cool. 2006, so really nice there. And uh, some of the games there. And then we have a little... Uh, Sort of a closing section by uh, um, Eiji Onoma. Sorry if I butchered his name completely. Uh, again, don't speak Japanese. <laughs> so uh, here we have a nice uh, closing comments by him. And uh, you know, as we all know, he's the director and producer of uh, The Legend of Zelda. And so we come to the very end of the book. And here we have this. Uh, comic and it's telling us to stop and start from the back as you guys know this is how uh, they do it in Japan you read from uh, right to left instead of left to right so we have this awesome The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword comic and uh, it's actually uh, a manga by Akira Himekawa so really nice color pictures in the beginning here you have a little Bit of story for Twilight Princess and so uh, you can see some of the awesome art in this manga so that's pretty much it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and here's the back of the book and um, that does it for this uh, video I think so I'm really I'm really happy to finally have this I'm so happy that Nintendo released this in the West and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I always want to hear what you guys are thinking. And, you know, do, did some of you also get this? Uh, just let me know. Go go and uh, discuss in the comment section. So uh, thanks so much for watching once again, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.